Valley Neighborhood Forecast is brought to you by Walgamoth Painting. Wiggly Mouth. Woggy Mouth. No. Painting. Wig. Wiggy Mouth. It's Woggy Mouth Painting. It's Walgamoth Painting. And yes, we'll paint anything. Hello everyone, meteorologist Mike Kruger looking at your Valley Planner. Temperatures mainly in the upper 60s for your daytime highs today. I think some of us could reach that 70 degree mark, but really the main headline for the Valley and even the surrounding foothills is the winds. We saw gusts over 30 miles per hour for many of us yesterday. I think it'll be even stronger this morning in some areas here. There is a wind advisory for the areas in blue. And what's interesting is the winds have been just as strong for many locations around the Redding area, Red Bluff and Corning but not under the wind advisory. But it's gonna be windy there as well, so don't let that fool you, and don't let this fool you either. We have high fire weather risk here for Redding, Red Bluff, and Corning as well. This red flag warning should be allowed to expire at four o'clock this afternoon, and the reason being is the winds will start to die down, but still very gusty through the morning and midday hours. There you can see, I mean, look at this. Again, where we don't have a red flag warning or a uh, wind advisory is in Redding, but the winds will actually be stronger in Redding than they are in Chico. So just kind of illustrate that, right? But then as we go into five o'clock this afternoon, still pretty gusty. The winds will still be kind of lingering around, but we're, they're on the downward trend at this point. But even at six o'clock Thursday morning, the foothills in particular, east of the valley, still have some very gusty winds. But as you can see, as we go through the day on Thursday, the winds are finally dying down. Now, I also want to show you the humidity because that's the key as well. Yeah, we've got the gusty winds. It's not hot, but it's very dry. So windy and hot, that's all you, excuse me, windy and dry. Those are the only two ingredients you need for that high fire danger. You're down into the low teens for today, maybe even some single digits. Tomorrow around noon single digits. But again, the winds are dying down at this point, so we don't have to really be too concerned about that lower humidity. And this fire weather risk I just wanted to show you here, one of the reasons it's not, you know, typically in the summer we would be looking at these same conditions, but we'd be looking at a lot of oranges and reds on the map. Now the reason we're not in those oranges and reds based on this particular forecast model is because it takes three factors into account temperature, wind, and humidity. The temperature's not that hot, so that decreases the fire danger just a little bit. But as you can see here, right here, that's kind of in that moderate to high range here, but that's for today. All right, then we take you into tomorrow. We're seeing less of those yellows. So again, it's decreasing with that fire weather risk here for Thursday and of course going into Friday. All right, here is your Valley neighborhood forecast brought to you by Walgamoth Painting. Your temperatures will be in the upper 60s. Now, some of us could reach that 70 degree mark for today, but for the most part, I'm expecting mainly upper 60s for your daytime highs. All right, let's take a look at that seven day outlook for Reading. So you'll, you may have noticed I've taken the rain out of the forecast for Saturday. Just not a lot of confidence. The, the forecast models that are predicting rain on Saturday are going back and forth on rain and no rain. So I'm gonna keep it dry for the weekend for now, but stay tuned. We do have that still have better chance for rain by next Monday.